This is the greatest crypto trader of all time. He started with just $1,000 and turned it into hundreds of millions, possibly a billion dollars. He shorted the entire crypto market at its peak in November 2021. He shorted Luna right before it crashed 99% and called it publicly. He is one of the greats of all time. And our story starts in 2017 when, according to him, he began with only a thousand dollars. He made his entire wealth through trading. In 2017, he began building his wealth through sports betting, as he has said on Twitter. But we don't know much more about his past. Now, this is when the story really gets started. In 2021 to 2022, he begins to make a name for himself on the now dead exchange FTX. He constantly shows up in this list here, the top 100 traders by profit and loss. You can see him here at number 12. He begins to make public calls on Twitter that do very well. He talks about Shiba Inu before it launches and he shorts a bunch, a bunch of metaverse tokens and makes millions of dollars that everyone else was bullish on. You can see here, Wrecked Hunter, you are the king. <laughs> this is another one of his predictions here about Shiba. He says in August of 2020, if you put 20 ETH into Shiba and wait five months, you might be worth $40 million. And then he checks up later, if you just put two Ethereum in, it would have become $40 million. Am I a billionaire though? Somehow not. So GCR is rising on the leaderboard. He's made public calls about Shiba. He shorted a bunch of metaverse tokens. He's beginning to make a name for himself, but he's still not a superstar. And this is where the legend really begins in November of 2021. Now, if you remember this time, this was the absolute peak of the crypto markets. This was the price of Bitcoin in November 2021. It was reaching all time highs. It was going absolutely parabolic. We had articles coming out like this one, the super cycle, how crypto could shape the decade ahead. People thought that the cycles would never end. It would just keep going up into infinity. We had Forbes, three reasons why Bitcoin will see 100K. We had Tom Brady on stage with Sam Bankman fried <laughs> promoting FTX. We had Kevin O'Leary promoting FTX as well. We had Larry David and the Super Bowl ad promoting FTX. Everyone was getting rich with crypto. You don't want to miss out. And then in November of 2021, GCR tweets, high confidence that we're very late in the cycle. Secure your freedom if you've won it. You have to understand how contrarian this was at this time because everyone was making so much money. Everyone was convinced it was gonna go forever. And this guy comes out, one of the top traders on FTX, and says we're nearing the end. And he doesn't just say it, he starts to put his money where his mouth is. He puts together this Discord server here where he assembles a team of part-time crypto researchers ranging from a professional poker champion to a medical student to figure out what they want to short. And remember, this is what Bitcoin's price looked at at the time. But then all his work and his predictions pay off because Bitcoin's price goes from looking like this to looking like this. <laughs> and he is rolling in it. GCR just made the perfect prediction. He shorted over 40 coins, shorted almost the entire market, and he predicted the top. He's made a ton of money. He's gained a ton of followers on Twitter, a ton of reputation. He's doing great. You can see here, these are some of his short positions from that time. You can see a million dollars profit, a million, a million, 600,000, a million, a million, 1.7 million, 3 million, a million. So he's printing money as the market goes in free fall, all in all short. This is a quote from GCR at that time. You had every froth indicator. The total market cap of all crypto was at its peak. There was peak euphoria and belief in eternal cycles. It was really contrarian at the time. And that is a key sentence to understanding where GCR comes from. And it's investing in his trading strategy. He's always coming from a contrarian angle. Now, that could have been the end of the story. He was the big short of crypto, shorted the entire market, made millions, called the top, legendary moment. But GCR was not done. In March 14th of 2022, he would make another prediction. Al God Trading would tweet, who wants to take a $1 million bet that Luna will be a lower price in one year from now? And GCR responds, he wants to take the same bet, but for 10 million and would donate half to charity. He is supremely confident that the current narrative is lost. And then he tags the founder of LunaCoin in his tweet, publicly challenging him. And then the founder responds and says, let's do it. And so the $10 million bet is set that Luna will be at a lower price one year from now. And then GCR even doubles down on it. He says, hey, let's double it. Let's go to 20 million. 
your coin is going to fail. Do Kwon doesn't end up accepting the 20 million. So GCR puts a $10 million bet against Luna in a different way, but whatever. Basically, what you need to know is that GCR bet $20 million that Luna would fail. And he was right. <laughs> you can see his tweet right here. And what occurred shortly afterwards is Luna completely blew up. Now GCR is heralded as the king of crypto trading. He publicly called the top. He shorted all the top coins. He was the one who called the short on Luna and publicly challenged Do Kwon and defeated him. He doubled his money in that trade, went 20 million to 40 million in one go. He is the GOAT. And for the next year, he continues tweeting updates throughout the bear market as prices are down about his view on where crypto will go in the future. But the fun is over. The bull market has ended. And in April of 2023, he leaves us with this tweet. Likely my final tweet regarding crypto. And with that, he left Twitter. He stopped tweeting. His account went silent. And GCR was not heard from. This should be the end of the story. But a few weeks ago, something crazy happened. In April 13th of 2024, we are in the midst of a new crypto bull run. You can see Bitcoin's price has recovered from its previous crash. And then the world is hit with a very terrible headline. Iran launches retaliatory drone and missile attack on Israel. This was on a Saturday. So all the traditional markets were closed, but Bitcoin was open. And immediately in response to this news, the Bitcoin chart looks like this. We plunge from 67,000 to 62,000 in the span of 30 minutes. Twitter is going insane. Is this World War III? Is it all over? Is the recent bull run that we just saw, is this the end? Are we going to crash again? Everyone is panicking. And then the unthinkable happens. The Lisan al Gaib, the return of the king. You guessed it. GCR returns to Twitter after one year. And he tweets this. If you've been sidelined, this is a good opportunity to scale into high conviction tokens. If you're fully invested, just survive. Hold your positions and do not capitulate. I was enjoying retirement from social media, but don't want to see my brothers get shaken out when the future is still so bright. Within a minute, this tweet had 2,000 likes. Within 10 minutes, it had 10,000 likes. It was going completely nuclear. And guess what happened to the price of Bitcoin? It stabilized. It stabilized. His tweet, he tweeted here, here, right at the bottom, he tweeted. And the price of Bitcoin began to recover over the next two days. GCR was like Atlas, holding up the entire market, holding back trillions of dollars from falling as he returned from his retirement. Now, as I make this video, Bitcoin has since plunged down again, but for a few brief moments, he was holding back trillions of dollars and holding up the market. Now, GCR is undeniably a legend, and there's a lot of things we can learn from his story. There's a lot of tactics that he shared on his Twitter that are very important for being a good trader or a good investor. I do think there's something more important than tactics, and not to be cliche, but I'm going to quote Sun Tzu here. All men see the tactics whereby I conquer, but what none can see is the strategy out of which victory is evolved. So there's a lot of tactics that we can learn from GCR. This is my summary of many of the things he's tweeted. Don't track your peak net worth. Prioritize intuition. Don't revenge trade. Always trade with an edge. Cut your losers, double down on your winners. Every good investment must come to an end and don't give up. These are all great tactics, but more important than that is the strategy underneath them. And I think I figured out the core of GCR strategy. It's something called the tree of life, which is something he alludes to throughout several of his tweets in 2021, but never fully explains. And this tweet, I think, gives the best explanation of GCR's strategy in trading and investing. If I think a trend has been carried to excess, I may probe going against it. And he has a quote from George Soros here. I am often considered a contrarian, but I am very cautious about going against the herd. Most of the time, I am a trend follower, but I am aware that I am a member of the herd and I'm on the lookout for inflection points. I watch for telltale signs that a trend may be exhausted. If I think the trend has been carried to excess, I may probe against it. And this is the perfect strategy for a market like crypto, where it pumps a ton, there's a huge trend, but you don't want to stick with the trend to the end. There is no fundamental value for 90% of these protocols. So this is the core of GCR's strategy. He's copying George Soros and jumping into a bubble and then jumping out before the end. It sounds very simple, but it's incredibly hard to do in practice. Now, this is a great review of the greatest crypto trader of all time. 
And there's one, there's one lesson left that I think we have to take away. This is one of his tweets that has only 200 likes. It's on his old account. Almost no one talks about it, but I think it's really important. And that is lots of comments about his profit and loss, but excess wealth is about the most unfulfilling thing you could ever obtain in this world. And you should focus on your health and relationships. At a certain point when you're at GCR's level, these are just numbers on a screen. And there's more important things in this world than climbing a leaderboard and adding another zero to your bank account. Subscribe if you like that video. I got new ones coming every single day. If you want to see the charts that I use throughout the video, you can click on the trading view link below. It's an affiliate link and you can use it to chart Bitcoin, oil, gold, NASDAQ, S&P 500 stocks, anything. There you go. I'll see you next time.